Helium isn't fireworks. It doesn't roar, it doesn't glow, but it fuels rockets, cools MRI machines, and stabilizes microchips. It's the silent force behind every launch, every scan, every bite that keeps the modern world breathing. And India, a nation aiming for space, AI and semiconductor glory, imports almost all of it. In the south, deep under Tamil Nadu's Kauri Basin, engineers are trying to extract grade A helium from natural gas. India's first real attempt to break free from total dependence. A small pilot project, a rupees 39 crore drop in an ocean of need. Because right now, every liter of helium India uses is shipped from abroad, mostly the US. A single disruption, a diplomatic chill, a global shortage, and the country's scientific heart skips a beat. The irony, India has the geological potential. It just never looked deep enough. For decades, we've mined coal, gas, uranium, but ignored helium, the most strategic of them all. Every rocket launch, every MRI scan, every chip fabrication plant silently depends on this invisible element. Without it, satellites stall, superconductors fail, and cryogenic systems freeze into silence. So here's the real question. If tomorrow the supply lines stop, how long before the labs go dark? How long before space missions, nuclear cooling systems, and chip foundries start to suffocate? Helium may be invisible, but so is dependence. And dependence is always a weakness, because when you rely on others for your invisible bullets, you've already given them the trigger.